What's up you guys? Today we are going to be talking about my favorite products when it comes to makeup and beauty. This is going to be much less time consuming than my skincare because I have less things to discuss, but this is the pouch of goodies and we are just going to dig right on in. So the first product that I have been absolutely loving when it comes to beauty has been this Hourglass palette. You can see instantly that this thing is so well loved. So this middle shade, you can see I've hit serious pan. This shade, I've hit significant pan. This one, not so much. I only use the shade in the summertime, so it doesn't get full use throughout the year. Um, but this palette in general has been one of my favorites for years and years and years. It is worth the high price tag. I use these as a finishing powder. So a lot of people mistake the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders as a highlight. They're not a highlight. They're supposed to be used as a finishing powder when you're done with your makeup. So for me, the middle shade is perfect to set my under eyes to just finish off like my T-zone basically where I want the light to hit. Um, this shade is perfect if you're like going for a night out just to finish up the whole look uh, because it is more moody but does perfect the skin and then this shade over here is really really nice in the summer actually is a bronzer for me so depending on your skin tone you can use these in different ways but these this palette's amazing if you just want one of them they have the singles but in any event hourglass makes some of the most beautifully milled powders ever and if there's one thing that you should probably invest in i would say out of everything i'm going to talk about today it would be this just because it is just such a versatile like easygoing, perfecting products that everyone can use. Next up, I want to talk about these lip balms from Fresh. They are tinted lip balms or lip treatments. They have SPF of 15 in them. I mentioned them in my skincare favorites too because of the SPF 15, but they do provide just a beautiful wash of color. I have this one in bloom on the lips right now. I also have rose, a mama, and a baby, and then I also have this one in punch. So they have an array of different colors. They're beautiful on the lips. They apply super, like, they apply super easily. I mean, if you're on the go and you want a wash of color, but you don't want to worry about the whole lipstick and lip liner and lip gloss, this is just a really easy, carefree way to go. Put it in your purse and you're good for the day. So, obsessed with these balms from Fresh. And then, continuing on with the lip trend, I am obsessed with Bite Beauty. I love them. I have so many of their amuse-bouche lipsticks in my collection, but these three have been my favorites of the past few months. I have Smoked Zatar, Toasted Cardamom, and both of these are actually in their newest um, line. I'm not sure if it's limited edition or not, but in any event, they're both beautiful shades. And then Sugar Cane has been a newfound love of mine. This is like the perfect nude lip for me, which is really Really hard. You guys know already that finding the perfect nude lip is a challenge because nobody has the same skin tone and skin complexion and lip tone. Something we don't talk about is actually like your tone of your lips. Like my lips are very, very pigmented. So oftentimes I will see other like YouTubers or influencers um, use a very pale shade and it looks beautiful on their lips. I get it. I try it. I think it's going to look great on me, but it looks like crap because my lips are super pigmented and it just does not blend well. So sugar cane for you guys with more pigmented lips with my skin tone, this is an awesome, awesome nude lip. So I've been loving these from Bite. Bite is my favorite. Like these are my favorite lipsticks of all time. Favorite formulation. They last forever. They're creamy. They're just so rich in pigment. You just need one swipe and they're made out of all natural food grade ingredients. Meaning when you do put it on and it does wear off throughout the day um, and you end up consuming some of your lipstick, it's not going to be bad for you. So just some food for thought there. The next product I want to talk about is this itty bitty Dior foundation. This is their brand new face and body. I got this from Sephora.com. It was a promotion. It was a free promotional item, and I have since purchased the full size. It's on its way to me now. This is in the shade 1N. This is what I'm wearing today. It matches quite well, but I actually got the lightest shade, which is zero. I will say I'm a little bit disappointed with the shade range. I mean, if I need the lightest shade, then it just is not inclusive of super, super pale people, but also in terms of, like, the deeper complexions, it really doesn't do them justice either. So in terms of the shade 
shade range, I am a bit disappointed. But in terms of the product itself, I've been really loving it. It lasts all day. I can do a whole video on this product if you're interested. Just leave me a comment in the comment section down below letting me know that you want to see that, and I will happily do it for you. But yeah, the new face and body foundation from Dior has been awesome for me, especially in these hot summer months. Up next, you guys, we're talking about Glossier. I really can't believe the words Glossier and favorites are about to be in a sentence from me because I don't give into the hype. I actually have a video coming out on not giving into the hype in like a week or so, so stay tuned for that. But Glossier for me is just an overhyped brand. Things can't be as good as they seem, right? Well, some things aren't, some things are. Dusk and Beam Cloud Paints are definitely worth the hype in my opinion. I'm wearing Dusk today on the cheeks. This is a beautiful, beautiful blush. It's just a perfect wash of color. These two are very, very versatile and easy for the everyday. You just take a teeny, teeny bit, a little bit goes a really, really long way, and you just dab it with your fingers, clean fingers, of course, to the cheekbones, and it gives you a perfect wash of color. You can control how much color you want. You can build this on itself if you'd like to, or just give yourself a teeny little bit of color onto the cheeks. You could use these in any way you wanted to. I really love them, and I've really been into cream products products recently. I just think they're a lot more natural on the skin and to know that a cream product works on somebody who is combination or oily like myself especially in this heat and they can like last a few hours it's a pretty good deal to me. So um, I've been loving the cloud paints from Glossier. I've also, speaking of blush, I won't spend much time here, I have another Hourglass product. I've wanted this blush for years, and I finally took the plunge. This is Mood Expo Exposure. This is the Ambient Lighting Blush. I love this. It is so perfect. It's so subtle, and it's just super natural. I mean, the finish is just like all other Hourglass products. Um, very, very beautiful on the skin. Extremely soft, like soft focus blush-esque. Um, and they have a ton of different colors. I will definitely pick up these in the future when my budget allots. Okay, moving on. The rest of my favorites are all from the same brand, and that brand is Lila B. I'm just obsessed. I love everything from their pebble packaging that's so innovative. I love like the concept behind this brand. I love the luxury behind this brand. I love how the products actually apply. I love how the products are sourced. I love the ingredient deck in these products. They are all good for you ingredients, which Amen to that. I'm so excited about this brand, you guys. Like, I cannot even contain myself. The first product I want to talk about is Be Sun Kiss. This is their bronzer. I'm wearing it today. It provides the perfect amount of buildable bronze to the cheeks. I just think it's lovely. I mean, when you swirl the two colors together, because it is like a double or dual colored bronzer, when you swirl them together, you get like the perfect amount of luminosity, and it's just Stunning. It really looks like you've been kissed by the sun. The next product I want to talk about is something that really took me by surprise. This product was sent to me, and I'm so happy it was because I would have never picked this up if it weren't for Lila B sending me this product. So thank you, Lila B. I love you forever. This quad. First of all, these colors, it's not something I would ever pick up on my own, um, or I wouldn't have picked up on my own if I we're buying it for myself because these purples are just not my shades. I'm not a purple person or at least I didn't think I was. This like taupey br like brown color is a perfect crease color. I do love that. And then this is more like an iridescent shimmer. It's not white. It's not pink. It's not purple. It's kind of somewhere in between. And upon just looking at this, I'm not thrilled. I'm not excited. But oh my gosh, when it's on the eye space, I'm wearing it today. It is so beautiful. These also swatch horribly. So like if I was going to a counter and I saw this and I swatched it, I'd be like, wow, I'm not getting that. But oh my goodness, give me two minutes, not a lot of time or effort, and I look completely put together with this palette. It is the only thing I have been using on the eyes because it blends like an absolute dream. It lasts all day. It is so easy to use. I cannot get over this product. The next product I'm going to talk about very, very quickly 
is the Glisten and Glow Illuminator by Lila B. This is a cream to powder formulation. I'm obsessed with it. It's very versatile. It's good for all skin types. It's good for young skin, aging skin. It dries very quickly and it lasts all day. I mean, not all of us want to look like a disco ball all the time. Like, if you want to beam to the sun, beam to the gods, I have those moments, but I don't want to look like that all the time. This is going to make you look polished and perfected and I love it and I think you will too. And then the final two products that I want to talk about are these divine duos and we have be real and be sassy these are awesome like if you're going to pick up one lila b product to start off your collection with i would pick up these just because of their versatility for the price i think it's actually like a really really well thought out product so these are what they look like you can put them on the cheeks on the lips you can put them on the eyes for a monochromatic look they are just beautiful you can intensify the pigmentation if you want you can keep it really subtle um it lasts all day again you can use your fingers to blend these in so they're really user friendly and easy to use and I just think this is a staple in any beauty lovers collection so those are all of my favorites all of my beauty favorites please let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite product has been recently from a beauty perspective I would love to know let me know if there's anything you want me to test out and pick up um, to review for you guys in the future and with all of that being said thanks for being here and I'll see you on my next one bye